Hello and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. So there's the new shack. Anyway, on this episode, I kind of wanted to show you what I did with the antennas. Just to give you an idea. So I'm going to get you dizzy for a minute while I walk out here. And then we're going to look up in the air and see what we did here. So if we look straight up there, you can see the comet GP9. Alright. <laughs> About 17 foot. You can see the little long wire uh, Unum box. 9 to 1 toward in it. And uh, so anyway, that wire runs. I'll show you that in a minute where that wire goes to. But Anyway, it requires some uh, coax, you know, to work, be the other side of the antenna. So I ran it across the fence into a little side yard that I have on the other side of this fence. Uh, it can't be seen by anybody. And of course, I've got a choke uh, on the line going into the shack. And there's the pass through. You know, that uh, brings in the VHF, UHF uh, Comet, and the long wire. Eventually, that'll also bring in the hex beam that I'm going to put up. Anyway, how I did this, and let me get over here a little bit and I'll show you. Anyway, there's the uh, pass-through. Got a bunch more ports I can use. And you can see I attached a copper strap to it, to the metal there on the pass-through. That copper strap goes right down here to a ground rod. And you can see the other two grounding wires coming in along with the copper strap. One of them uh, goes to the long wire box, and the other one goes to the mast, uh, just to ground that out too. Uh, what the comet is attached to, the mast. So, uh, anyway, we got a good ground right outside the shack. And then what we did was we ran a grounding cable underneath this little pathway. We picked up the stones, you know, and made a little bitty trench and ran it underneath this fence because the house main ground can't be... Uh, a foot or so on the other side of this fence. So the ground here is attached to the house ground, which is right on the other side of that fence. So uh, basically got a really good ground here. And choking out that uh, long wire to cut out the common mode currents that may be coming in. So we got a nice choke on it right there. And then it goes through the MFJ pass through right there to the inside of the shack. So let's uh, kind of walk around here a little bit. And we'll kind of take you one more shot of the shack here. You know, here we go. And there we are. There we are. So, anyway, the shack is up and running. That gives you an idea what antennas I've got up. Eventually, uh, I will put up a hex beam on top of probably a little short uh, five-foot Glen Martin uh, tower on top of this patio, which is right here. Got a flat roof up there, so I'll be able to attach that Glen Martin a little tower and the hex beam very easily to the top of this patio and then run the cable uh, inside. So with that said, let's see what I can do here. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do this, but we're going to try it. As I usually do, I wish you clear skies in 73 and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Anyway, that'll give you an idea of what I've got up right now. 
and uh, next episode we'll show you the long wire. Anyway, have a great day. See you all later.